Hey everyone, Samantha and Sadie here. Today Sadie is modeling the Outward Hound Day Pack Dog Backpack. This is our cat Oliver, don't mind him. Um, so Sadie's modeling this for us. This is a saddlebag design. Come here, Sadie. Good girl. You can see that there's one on each side. There's a nice handle here. D-ring for you to clip your leash onto. Come here, big girl. Sadie is very comfortable in it. It fits very similar to a dog harness. Uh, slides over the dog's neck. Actually, I'll take it off of her right now. So uh, there's this one strap that goes under the belly, another strap that goes around the chest there, and then you have to get your dog, whoops, turn it. Then you have to get your dog to just step through that last part, pull it over their head. So if you do that in reverse, come here, see. Come here. You put it over, get them to step their paw through, and then you're gonna buckle both of those straps. Uh, I'm going to show you the pack up close so you can see what this product can do. So here's the Outward Hound Day Pack Dog Backpack up close. This is the large size. If it's dogs with a length of 14 and a half inches, a neck circumference of 14 to 18 inches, and a chest girth of 28 to 32 inches. Uh, there are other sizes available, small and a medium. This is the biggest size available. So if you have an extra large dog, it's not going to work. Um, but there are other sizes available. If you're watching this on Facebook or uh, YouTube, anywhere on social media, just click the link below. It'll take you to my full written review which is very extensive and covers all of those sizes available. Um, you'll see that it's a really breathable mesh fabric. If I hold up to the light here, you can even see through it. Uh, so your dog's not gonna get too hot while they're hiking. There's also some reflective piping um, on the bag itself which is great if you're coming back at night or you want your dog to wear this on a daily walk or something like that. Um, so safety is always a concern and you wanna make sure of that. Uh, those two straps that I showed you, so one, this one goes under the uh, chest and then this one down here goes under the belly. Those are both really easily adjustable. Um, it's just a little adjustable buckle. You can slide that around and adjust it to wherever uh, your dog needs it. Pretty simple, and the Velcro attaches. I like the Velcro, it keeps, um, you don't have to cut it if uh, it's way too long and you don't have to, you know, it doesn't uh, hang around. When you're hiking, you wanna make sure that everything is uh, neat and tidy and close to your dog. You don't want any chance of anything getting caught. So um, I like it that any of the extra isn't just hanging down there. That was a, a plus for me. Um, it is a very lightweight backpack, but it's also light capacity. So keep that in mind. This isn't something that's gonna be for super long trips. There's a zippered pocket on each saddle bag. This could carry like a bottle of water, um, a bowl, maybe a, a little package of treats, something like that. Um, there's also an expander if you need a little bit more space, but it's still not gonna be, sorry, I keep reaching across there, but it's still not gonna be a ton of room. Um, each side also has a little Velcro pocket on the front if you need something um, like a travel, um, sorry, a traffic handle that's, you know, easily accessible. You can have that there. Um, like I said, it does have the handle for you to hang on to your dog if you meet oncoming hikers or anything like that. It's got the D-ring to attach a leash so you don't have to worry about um, having to have your dog wear a collar or an additional harness or anything like that. Um, it does, you know, like I said, it expands, but it doesn't hold a whole lot. So uh, keep that in mind for a large dog like Sadie. You know, if we go on um, a pretty minor hike, this holds enough. I can get a couple of bottles of water in here for her um, and a, a little bit of food so it works great uh, for those but if we go on an all-day adventure obviously I'm gonna need to carry some of her stuff uh, as well which I don't mind doing and most people don't but um, just keep that in mind it's it's not the biggest backpack for dogs out there but it's definitely a great little day pack which might be where the name comes from, the Outward Hound Day Pack. If you guys have any other questions about this product, uh, again, you can see my extensive written review for the sizing information. You can also email me, Samantha at topdogtips.com. I'd be happy to share uh, any information if I can answer any of your questions. Thanks a lot for watching this review, guys. I will see you back next time. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. We really appreciate you guys tuning in whenever we post a new video. Of course, you can check us out on our website, topdogtips.com. So be sure to bookmark that and check back often because we are always publishing new reviews, um, product information, top 10 lists, information about dog care, grooming, training, um, all aspects of dog care health, and uh, we share some vet tips on there, all kinds of great stuff. So if you're a dog owner, dog lover, that's the site for you. 
video. Also, be sure to find us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Uh, you can find us on Pinterest as well. So uh, make sure to follow us, and then you'll stay up to date with everything that's going on on our website and on our social media. You'll see all the newest videos whenever they're posted. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. All you have to do is go to YouTube, search for Top Dog Tips. We're right there. Subscribe, and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So be sure to do that. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you back soon with another great Top Dog Tips video.